My name is Kubrumu. I was born in Palen refugee camp. In refugee camps, our lives was tough. We live in fear. For example, in order to get food, we had to wait for one month, so we wait. Even though we ran out of food, you have to pay a store with your own money. But we didn't have enough money to buy foods. Fears was the biggest part of our life in refugee camps. For instance, if we wanted to go somewhere, we had to sneak out so they couldn't know. If they caught us, they sent us to jail or they punished us. Also, if they knew we hunted animals in the forest, they charged us for animals. It was not easy to pay. It was so expensive for each animal. In refugee camp, it felt like we were in prison because you can't go anywhere. In 2010, my parents decided to move to America. After my parents signed their names to come to America, we interviewed and were so lucky for us that we passed the interview. After war, my dad went and checked his name on the sheet for people who signed up to come to America, and my dad's name was on the sheets. So our family was glad and excited to come. Once we wait for weeks, we pack off our stuff to get ready. Next day, we prayed at our house to give things to Lord that we can come to U.S. and pray for a safe journey. On the next day, we loaded our bus at the Thai gates. I saw lots of people were crying, including my relatives. One of my relatives gave us a snack to eat for our long ride. My parents felt depressed when they had to separate from their siblings, but my siblings and I didn't despair because we were only 10 years old and under. It was my first time riding a bus and it made me dizzy, then I threw up. Suddenly we were in shock because our bus got into an accident. My dad was injured by the window at his neck and they sent him to hospital, but the rest of us were fine. Now we were in Machar to take rest for our long way. This place smelled and also it was crowded. Near our hotel there was tall grass and a big round lake by the hotel gate. For a couple of days the IOM people taught us how to live in America. When we headed to Thai airport, the security checked our stuff that wasn't allowed in US. When I was in airplane, I felt scared as we were so high. I used bathroom in airplane and when I flushed toilet, I thought the airplane was falling or get into accident. As I looked outside, I saw wispy clowns around airplane and under the airplane, I saw glowy city at night. Now we finally in US. Meanwhile, I landed in Kentucky. It was rainy and windy.